I'm Jill Moray, and you are still gorgeous. Welcome back to Gorgeous Over 40. A lot has happened since we last saw each other. Let's see, uh, oh right, COVID, quarantine, crazy time, hard. But you know what? I decided to take this time and make a big change. As you can see, my hair, my hair, different. So let me tell you what happened. I really wanted to make a change during everything. I was cleaning my house like Lady Macbeth during the whole quarantine thing. My poor kid, he put down something, because no help or anything. And this hair was getting everywhere. And I liked having long hair for a while because I grew up with short curly hair and I really wanted to have long, nice hair. And I did. And then I got tired of it. And then it just got in the way. And I found all I was doing is if I didn't curl it, I was putting in a ponytail and putting it up and just didn't feel good. And no, nothing was open, no salons were open. So at one point it got so long, I just took some shears and I cut three inches off and rounded it around here and gave everybody else haircuts in my house and they were happy and I was happy for a while. And then I said, you know what? I want the cut that I had been asking my hairdresser to do for years that he kept saying, nah, you can't do it. No, it's not hip. No, it's not good. La, la, la. Every excuse to give me a 10 minute haircut. And then I started collecting pictures on Pinterest and I said, I know exactly what I want. I want this reverse bob where it's short and back and then comes down and then I could puff it up or I could put it behind my ears and it's always down on my face and it's short, but it feels long. And I didn't know what to do. Not that it was the, you know, biggest problem in the world actually, but you know, sometimes we are our hair and I just want it to feel pretty. So the craziest thing happened. You ready? I'm walking out my gate from where I live, my complex, and this lovely woman, effervescent, brunette, beautiful. And I said, hi, are you my new neighbor? And she said, yes. And I said, what do you do? I never ask people, they're moving in. And she said, I'm a hairdresser. I said, you're a hairdresser. Well, I always wanted that reverse bob. And she said, it's my specialty. Can you imagine? I've just been asking the universe. I know I asked for a lot of things. It's a little thing, but I just wanted a nice haircut. And that's who did this haircut, Brittany. I'm gonna put her information up if you live in LA or vicinity. She's amazing. And then when she was done with the cut, I said, should we do highlights? And then she did these highlights. And at first I thought, I'm blonde? What's, is it too much? And I thought, no, it's not too much once I got used to it. And I'm having a fun time. My son was so funny. He didn't like it at first. You know, no one wants their, their mom to look so different and I look really different. And then after a while he said, you know, mommy, I think I like your little hair. <laughs> So I'm enjoying my little hair, and what, what is it I want to impart to you? You know, it may be a little thing considering what we're all going through and what we all have to deal with, but if there's a change that will make you feel better, make the change. If there's something you want to do and everyone is saying, no, I don't think so, but you know in your heart that you can do it, like I knew I could rock this haircut, and I can, and I'm having so much fun with it, then do it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? You wear a hat for eight weeks. But in the meantime, I needed a big change because our lives have been turned upside down. And I don't know about you, but I really couldn't relax. I made 600 meals a day for my family. I'm cooking, I'm baking, as I said, I'm cleaning. I'm doing what I can to get through. At the beginning, I thought, oh, it's like a snow day and we're all home and this will be fun and we'll watch movies. And that lasted two days. And then, you know, the anxiety and everything that caught up with me as everyone else. And then having this hair that I wish I didn't have. I'm so happy that what a drop of serendipity that this amazing hairdresser, and now she's a really good friend and I'm recommending her to everybody. And she's just amazing. So we have a good time when she's working on my hair. We sit and we talk, but look all these layers and it's so swingy. And I had a carrot in since, so it's nice and straight and very easy to blow out. So go out and play. 
play, try a different eye color, try a different lip color. And if you go back to one of my earlier videos where I talk about lips and I say I really can't wear that red, guess what I'm wearing these days? Red and this and pink because now that I have a frame instead of that everything's pulled off, I'm going a little more bold with my look. I was watching Dancing with the Stars the other night and I saw Carrie Ann Anabe. Now, I haven't seen it in a long time, so I don't know if she had that style for a long time, but she has now red hair and big cat eyes and she changed up her look. I mean, that's what we do. That's one of the fun things about being a girl is what we can do with makeup and powder and lipstick and hair. And I'm suggesting you do the same thing. So the takeaway from today is you wanna change make the change. The per person or people you're working with now won't do it. Find somebody else. Ask the universe for someone to move into your complex that happens to be like the greatest hairstylist and have her be affordable and nice and kind and sweet and genius, which Brittany is, and let it fall into your lap too. Remember, make every day a beautiful day and you can, you know why? because you're still gorgeous.